Hello, good morning. My name is M. Tommy of Peace Egg Ministry. It's a beautiful Monday right here in Nigeria, and I'm super excited to reach out to you today. I'm very happy new week to all of you all over the world. All right, I want to appreciate everyone. Thank you so much for sticking around, for always being there. God bless you, in Jesus Christ's name. I received a message and mails, and um, someone asking me if I I'm in a relationship with a lady and in the long run it falls out that I don't get married to that lady. If it, she cost me, will I be cost? Listen, we are bounded by our words. Most of us, we know very well that you won't get married to that lady. You know it. You know that you won't get married to that person. And you go ahead and you give that person hope. That you're gonna get married to her. Now, this is what you've done. She would have had suitors, she would have had people around coming, you know, she would have further that moved on and get a better relationship. But because she doesn't want to cheat on you, she will forsake every other person, every other suitor, waiting on you. Knowing that yes, you have assured her that she's gonna get married to you or you're gonna get married to her. But inside of you, deep in your heart, you know that you will not get married to her. Already you have committed sin because whatever is not from your heart is sinful already. And if that lady, at the end of the day, realizes that you're not getting married or you call the relationship because you've gotten what you want, and if she cost you, you'll be cursed. If she opens her mouth and costs you, the fact that you made that statement and she followed you innocently. Listen, the lady follows you innocently, follows you sincerely because of all the assurance and the promises you made that you're going to take care of her, you're going to be there for her, just for you to satisfy your lust. After you got what you wanted and you are off, if she opens her mouth and curses you and by that your words, those things you say, you'll be cursed. Because all of us are, be, are will be judged by our words. You'll be cursed because you made that promise. You'll be cursed because you made that declaration and promise. You'll be cursed because he sticked around you because of what you said. And if you tell God, look, this is my heart. I was on my own when, she, when he came around. And I followed her, him because he made this promise to me. If he does that, by those words you made, by those utterances you made, you'll be cursed. There's no two ways about it. You'll be cursed. The same thing with men, or vice versa with ladies as well. You, a man, you know he has money and has, is wealthy, and you are there to take the money. You know you, you don't want to marry, and you're giving him all the hope. The same thing will happen as well. So there's nothing to reason. You don't even need to read the Bible about it. It's just a very simple thing for you to know that you are bounded by your word. So if you are sure that the person you are going to, by the time you speak with someone the first time or the second time, you know, oh, it's not some, it's someone I would like to stay with, or it's not someone I would like to stay with. You start keeping away. Let it be that at the end of the day, maybe you were serious and you were sincere. You were doing what you're supposed to do as a man or as a woman. And you find out that this person is uh, uh, there's infidelity, good. Or in the long run, you find that he wasn't or she wasn't the kind of person you really talked about. But inside of your heart, you were so sure. Ah, I'm gonna marry this girl. I'm okay with her. But in the long run, you find out that there's something else she was hiding from you or he was hiding from you, and you decided to leave for the sake of uh, you know protecting your future and your life destiny. It's a different thing. But if all you go there is to if for lost, and after two, three months or one year, you're good, you're done with everything you wanted, you're done with her, or you're done with him, you want to leave. If any of those people, either the lady or the man cost you, you'll be cursed. So take note of that. And secondly, please, don't, God has given us the freedom of choice. Don't just wake up one day and start asking God, Father, this lady, should I marry her? This man, should I marry him? No! No! You know the kind of woman you want to marry. 
you know the kind of man you want to marry. Let it be that you have seen all the qualities in that man first. Or you've seen all the qualities in that woman first. And you're okay. You have to be okay first. When you go to God, you're going to God for confirmation. You're not going to God for direction. Take it again. The Bible says, he that finds a wife. It's not he that God has found a wife for. He that finds a wife. You must find a wife. So when you look at the woman, you know the kind of woman you want in this life. If she has all the qualities, the charisma, the character you want, you can now say, Father, to me, I'm okay with her. I've seen everything physically. I'm okay. But there are some things I may not know about her. I want you to reveal it to me. Should I go ahead? The same thing with the men. But not just you've not seen the person before. I start asking God, should I marry this person? Should I marry? God will not choose anybody for you. Remember what happened? When God told uh, Adam, why have you done this? Ask Adam, why have you done this? Adam said, is this not the woman you brought for me? And that's a simple thing. So God will never choose anything for you. If whatever you want, whatever, you must use your eyes, use your mind, and look at it. Once you are done, you are convinced. Because most times you are, you may talking to that lady first or second day, you know that it's not something, you don't need to go and start bothering God. You know, it's not something you want. And God will not, go against your will so please we are we, we most most marriages today is because we did not look deep enough on our own we will not satisfy we're just trying to and sometimes you go to church and the pastor will try to manipulate i've seen where a pastor manipulated a lady went to combine with a, a prophet uh, and they, 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 they had an agreement and they walked over the guy and but today the truth is there so be satisfied be convinced before you now go to God for confirmation. Don't start bugging God about things that you have the power to think about. Use your brain, use your eye before you start involving God in it, all right? So please, as I said, being involved in, uh, in things you know deeply inside your heart. You, had, you make promises to people who you know that they're not from your heart. It's sinful already. So don't go and start wasting that girl's time or waste that man's time. In the name of marriage, when you should know very well that you're not going to get married to, if any of them open their mouth to cause you, because just know that. All right, so have a beautiful Monday. God bless you.